Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. So today I'm going to show you how I make a homemade air freshener using some lemons, some lavender that I'm going to get from my garden and a little bit of vanilla essence. Let's get on with it. Okay, so I'm taking you to go and pick the lavender with me. Um, it's a hot windy day. So it's like a perfect day for like doing laundry because it would dry really quickly so that's what I've been doing today and now we are gonna go and find some lavender please don't judge me by the look of my garden I don't have a lot to do with this particular garden at the moment I'm just very lazy and this I don't know if you can see it is the lavender bush okay so i'm going to pick some I've got a pair of scissors and i don't need a lot so what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to try and get the fresh parts Whoa! that's dusty okay, let's go over here someone should give this plant some water Excuse Jay baby, that's him doing something that he probably shouldn't be doing. That's why it's got music to it. Okay, do you think I need one more? Okay. Yeah. Like a small one. Yeah. Hi JB. Thank you. So, one more time. Shush. It might not look, please hold here for me. Just stand still with it, don't move. It might not look fantastic, but it smells absolutely amazing. I promise I'll do better. I'll come back when I'm done with this to just give it some water and see if I can nurse it back to health. Because it's actually quite a big bush and it's pretty. But for now, this will do. And now I'm back in the kitchen with everything I need to make the air freshener. Now I've got some lemon over there, I've got the lavender, and I've got the vanilla essence, and I've got some water. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pot, and I'm going to put the stove on as I already have. And then I'm going to be putting in the lemon. This is actually quite a bit of lemon, but I like it because it's actually the strongest smell that you get from this air freshener. So having a lot of lemon really does help me. Uh, I've got my lavender. Remember my sad looking lavender, pretty flowers. I promise I will leave here and go and do something about that plant or at least get someone else to do it. And then I'm putting a little bit of vanilla essence. Immediately the smell of vanilla and lavender is permeating through my kitchen. And then I'm going to fill this pot with water. So the idea is to submerge all of this in water and then bring it to a boil. And as soon as you have a proper rolling boil, you are actually going to start to get the smells coming up from your pot. So when you're doing this, just don't close the pot. Because remember, 
we want the steam or the smell coming from the steam to actually come into the air and to make your kitchen smell like summer so closing the pot would actually be a little bit counter-revolutionary so don't do it leave it open until it comes to an actual boil yes i do understand that that means it will take longer to boil but you will really appreciate the smell so i'm going to leave mine on until we get the boil and then i'll be back I'm back and as you can see my mixture is boiling away but I really wish you could smell this kitchen or the smells that are coming off of this pot so basically the simmer action is what we are relying on to be able to get the steam coming off of the pot and to get the smell going around um, the whole kitchen it's actually quite fresh it's it has a citrusy scent, a very strong citrusy scent, but it's got a flowery scent also from the lavender. And obviously you all know what van vanilla smells like and we like that smell. And uh, I suppose the bees as well, so today might be an interesting day. But anyway, um, I'm really enjoying trying out the different scents um, with the different mixes. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some of... The different uh, scents um, including the different ingredients that I use at the bottom in the description description box then you can try that for yourself but this is the one that is absolutely perfect for a spring day that is nice and warm a little bit windy but the smell in here is really the smell of summer new summer and I really enjoy it so basically what I do is I will let it go um, for about 30 minutes just to simmer for about 30 minutes and then I will when I've got the smell permeating already around the kitchen then I will turn it off and then I will put the mix in a bowl a separate bowl um, and then wrap it with cling wrap and then put it in the fridge so then tomorrow when I wake up again and I want to just rekindle that smell in my kitchen then I will take the mix, put it back in a pot, and then get the simmering action started again and get it going. So basically, I will just that's literally how I just engage my air freshener in the kitchen that I've made using food. Thank you very much for coming into my kitchen today and watching this video. Remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and come back next time so you can see what else I'm up to. Ciao!